like there's this guy David Goggins, which I love him. He's 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 really good at, um, role model. David Goggins, you can check him out on Instagram, or whatever. A healthy body gives you a healthy mind. That's what it's about. So if you go into battle, you want to go into battle with the right mindset, the right gear. In combat, you wear body armor. But what we do wrong is we don't strengthen our minds. You got to strengthen your mind, take control of that. So then when you get out in the real world, and they fuck you up. Anyway, he talks about training and he's like, it's not about what happens to your body when you're training. It's about what happens to your mind. And it's like, you're having this mental battle with yourself. Like your mind is trying to give up. And like your mind is doing everything it can to avoid pain. Like that's what it wants to do. It's a survival, it's like a survival computer. So when you feel pain, it tries to avoid it. Your mind is always trying to take the easy way out, isn't it? Think about it, your mind's trying to protect you. I'm hungry, I'm cold, that hurts, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> That's what your mind is always trying to do, it's always fighting against you. But when you're, when you're pushing yourself, you're doing something that really hurts, you have to have that battle with your mind, don't you? It's like, a, it's like an internal battle. So you're trying to override your survival mechanism which is to stop, ouch, that hurts. So, when you start looking at um, training like that, like, okay, it's not about what's happening to my body, it's about what's happening to my mind along the way, it changes the game. It's like, wow, this is mental training. This is training for my mind. Like, am I gonna give up here? Or can I push past it? And then, you apply that out to your life, to other aspects of your life, the, the mental training that you learn when you're pushing yourself in the gym or whatever, running or cycling, or whatever you're doing, you can extrapolate that out to the rest of your life. You know what I mean? So you can push yourself in your work, in your passion, and you know, your home life, whatever challenges you have in life, you can push yourself because you've already done the mental battle in the gym. You know what I mean? So how amazing is that? Training the mind to overcome the struggle and then using that in your day-to-day -day life struggles. So anyway, like, I've been jumping on the uh, treadmill and challenging myself and I'm gonna do it all every day this week <laughs> because I'm like that. If I get something in my head, I don't stop. It's weird. Like, I think it might be, is it OCD? I don't know, but I just don't like being defeated. And that's like my, um, animal rights activism too. I don't like being defeated, like you won't stop me. It won't, you won't, you, you try to stop me, it will make me come back stronger. Like you can rip me down and criticize me and call me names and you know, throw me in the bin. I'll come back out the bin stronger. Like <laughs> that's how I work. That's how I got through my life. That's how I got through addiction. That's how I got through suicide. That's how I got through mental health problems and anxiety and depression. That's how I got through the gang world. That's how I got through prison. I come back stronger and sober and a better version of myself. And that's how I'll, that's how I'll progress in the animal rights movement. And, and, and you won't stop me, I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. And that's why when I hop on that treadmill, <laughs> I wanna do it again the next day, even though it hurts. <laughs> even though it bloody hurts and I wanna get off, I'm like, wow, that was exhilarating. Come at me, bro. Let's see if we can beat the time next week. Third day running in a sub 25K. 19 minutes 16. On no running training. <laughs> Whew. So yesterday the treadmill died on me before I could get my sub 25K. So today it didn't die. I made sure of that. And I uh, got the sub 25K. Third day running on the treadmill, already hitting sub 20. So it's crazy what your mind can do.